How's it going guys and welcome back to Discovery. Today I'm doing an update of a whole one year that I've had this Simba mattress. So I'm going to tell you what you need to look out for and what to expect over a whole year of having it. It's been my everyday mattress. Um, but first I need to give it a bit of a, a tidy up because my bed's a mess. So let's get to it. All right, now one of the things you will notice is when I bought this Simba mattress, it actually came with a promotion at the time where it gives you a free mattress cover, which is what I've got underneath my, obviously, mattress uh, sheet there. Um, so something to bear in mind is when you use the mattress uh, cover that, it, uh, that you might buy separately or you might not even buy Simba's one um, or you uh, might have got it free with a promotion, something to bear in mind is I think the mattress cover personally, because obviously it's got that water resistant feature in it, you know, to stop sweat from transferring onto the actual mattress itself. It kind of takes away some of the, um, uh, I think heat regulating features of the Simba mattress. So that's something you need to bear in mind. Cause obviously the, one of the biggest selling points of the Simba mattress uh, being a hybrid mattress, it can kind of regulate it says like regulate heat and temperature and all that kind of stuff, but whether it does or not, I don't know. But what we found is when we slept on it with the mattress cover on, it was significantly hotter than it was when we didn't have the mattress cover on at all and we just slept on a mattress using a, a bed sheet. So that's something to bear in mind. Obviously at the moment it's summertime, so it is really hot. Um, and we found that it's, it is hotter when you have the mattress cover on, the mattress protector on. So um, if, you, if that is a concern for you and you don't want a really hot sleep, maybe consider that in the summertime, you might not want to use the mattress protector because it will hamper the heat regulation of the Simba mattress. Okay, so here it is with the mattress protector off. Now, what you do find is when you've got the mattress protector on, you've got that bit of a rustling kind of sound because of that water resistant kind of uh, uh, material that this is made out of. So when you do sleep on it, you will get that rustling sound. Now, to kind of reduce that sound, if you want to use the Simba mattress protector, you want to put on a good quality bed sheet that's, you know, quite thick, quite good, uh, made out of decent material to kind of spread that kind of mattress protector out and make it sound a bit better so it's not as noisy. What I use is the Dormo ones from Dunelm. I'll give the link in the description below. They're really good quality and I do recommend them because it does reduce that kind of rustling kind of surface that you get with the mattress protector. Now, having said that, um, I've used the mattress protector pretty much every day um, that I've had this mattress and it has retained the actual mattress uh, material has retained its color quite well. There's no like yellowing or there's no like, um, like, it, I mean, it has discolored like a little bit from like dust and stuff like that. But obviously this whole uh, mattress wrap is removable. There's a zip that goes all the way around. So if you do want to chuck it in the washing machine, you can do. But with the mattress protector, we found we didn't really have to do that because it's kept it it's clean. As you can see, it's really quite white. Um, and what you'll notice as well, it's kept its firmness as well. It's still really firm um, and it really bounces back. It's kept its shape. There's no like dips in the middle. Obviously my missus sleeps on this side, I sleep on that side and it still looks quite uniform all the way across the mattress and it's not like miss it's kept its shape from where it originally was when we bought it and that was a whole year ago so it's got a year's worth of use out of it so far so yeah it is bouncing back it still kept its firmness if you do like a firm mattress definitely go for it it's a good recommendation what you need to do to keep its shape uh, Simba recommends that you rotate the mattress don't flip it you have to rotate it I think for the first six months you want to do it uh once a month or is it first three months it'll say in the manual anyway once a month and then after that um you want to uh, rotate it every three months which is what we've been doing and we found it's worked quite well so i'm going to give you a quick rotation now see what you're kind of in for um, on the sides of the mattress you've got these nice kind of grab handles which makes it easy to do mm -hmm. 
and it's pretty much easy as that quite straightforward to do for one person obviously my bed has got that ottoman storage feature where it lifts the mattress up which i'd recommend getting bed frame like that because it is a heavy mattress so it can be make it easier to do the whole um turn rotating of the mattress so there is one thing i need to point out and that's how much pill has got in the mattress uh, uh sheet cover kind of thing um that you'll get over time okay guys now i don't know if you know what pilling means but what pilling means is when you have a fabric like cotton or something like that if it's of a lower quality you'll get these little kind of little bits of uh little fluffs of of the actual material kind of pilling up and coming out of the uh the fabric and you tend to get it with uh, cheaper lower quality cottons that have worn worn over time to so say for example you're sleeping on this surface now this is obviously without the mattress pits so on this is actually the ma mattress um you know housing so obviously the more you sleep you're rubbing against it with your body and it's kind of going to create that wear in the material that will give you uh, pilling over time now as you can see here overall the quality of the uh, mattress uh, sheet is really really good and it's hardly pilled that much and it's hardly got any fluff marks or stray kind of um, uh, bits of uh, fluff from the cotton coming out which is really good and the firmness is still very much there and it bounces straight back you know you can even see my handprint as I put down kind of disappear as it you know it wears away and it looks really good now there is a slight bit of discoloration just from general like dust and dirtiness you know contaminants in the air as you have it so if i zoom in a bit you're gonna have to uh look, look a bit harder to see this so if i zoom in so here you might be able to see like just odd bits of like discoloration but this is really nitpicking what I'm doing right now and there's hardly anything this is quite good quality as far as I'm concerned with how much colors uh, you know how much the colors has kind of kept its kind of a color and how well it bounces back and this is definitely something that will go away if you're that bothered about um, you know after a, a wash in the washing machine So finish making the bed. Um, what to wrap up about the Simba mattress? Do I recommend it? I've had it for a year and you know what? It's been really good. Um, I do recommend it. Uh, link in the description if you wanna know which one I bought. Um, but they've got a few more ranges out now. Um, one that's a bit more, got more springs in it than mine. To be honest, um, I don't know if that'll be better or not. I've not tried it. But, you know, the thing is with the, the Simba is because it's using the micro coils, you can't feel the springs in it. So they probably are working, obviously, because they're in there somewhere, uh, but you don't actually feel them, which is kind of good. Um, now, the type of sleeping I do personally is either on my side, you know, or on my front where I'm hugging the pillow, you know, like that. I don't sleep on my back that much um so uh what i found is being it quite a firm mattress and quite flat as there's no like kind of grooves in it like you get with some of these sprung mattresses is you know it depends how big your belly is whether it's going to be comfortable or not um if you like got a really massive belly and you're sleeping flat on it because the memory foam's quite firm it can kind of push against your belly and you might find it a bit uncomfortable because it's so flat um, but after a, a few seconds once you know the mattresses has, has like formed to the shape of your body then you won't really have that issue um, but uh, what I do find is on the side uh, side sleeping is where the mattress really excels I think it's those springs the micro coils is kind of fold into the the shape of your body as you are on your side because obviously there's a lot more going on you've got a heavy point here heavy point there with your 
uh, it would be knee, and then you know a heavy point with your head, and then your 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 shoulder as you kind of lie down, and it really does wrap to the contour of your body. And I do feel like the side sleepers benefit the most with this, um, as well as you know back sleepers as well, because you know most mattresses work with back sleepers anyway. Um, but I, I find it most comfortable on my side, to be honest um or you know on my front where i'm like hugging the pillow but everyone sleeps differently so so it, it might work for you it might might not but yeah over a year no complaints it's still really good it's kept its shape um it's the cover hasn't peeled that much uh the mattress protector again bear in mind the whole you know heat re regulation thing might be a bit hit and miss if you've got the mattress protector um but you can always do without it and that's pretty much it. I definitely recommend it. Um, and links in the description anyway, which one I bought again, you can take you straight through to there and you can buy it from there. And um, they always have sales on, you know, wait for like a, a Black Friday sale. I got this on Black Friday last year um, and it's been spot on. So thanks for watching my updated one year review. If you've not seen the first review, then I recommend checking that out where I do the full unboxing. You get to see it expand from brand new from the factory. Check that out. And if you like this video and you found it helpful, please don't forget to subscribe and like and share. It really helps me out. Thank you very much, guys. Catch you on the next one.